All right, trying to record video and audio on Linux. So here we go. Um, I have this <laughs> test running track uh, modeled in Trench Broom and imported it in, into our game, into our program. And I did some movement mechanic mechanics. So there's some resistance. So when I stop the movement, there's still some motion applied. So there's um, this momentum still going, right? And also it takes a while until, until the momentum builds up and it slows down again. So, and um, jumping, yeah. So here I have the gravity set to something very low. Uh, at the moment, it's all magic values. <laughs> so um, it, all those values to configure um, the movement, like air resistance and stuff like that. Uh, well, actually, air resistance might be the, the only one or one of the few variables that um, make sense or are intuitive for a level designer to tweak as uh, air resistance is just a value between zero and one, so it's a percent. But for example, the velocity I think is set to 0 0.5 right now, um, or the, not the velocity, the gravity ac acceleration. Um, so in the real world, you would have something like 9.81 uh, or like something like minus 10, um, depending where you are. Uh, but here it's just something something else. But yeah, it, it was actually surprisingly <laughs> difficult for me to implement this. Um, not sure why. Um, yeah, I can also walk. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun too. Oh, and by the way, yeah, you can kind of tweak how much movement you are able to do when you're in air, when you're air bound, <laughs> so to speak. So right now it's quite high, right? So, or the resistance, I, I would say is quite low actually, because I still can, like if I make a jump forward, I can actually uh, press the backward key in the middle of the jump and I won't move any further along um, into forward direction. So if I would uh, go here and say the air, friction and set it to one, for example, right? Um, that should um, that should make it actually impossible to move in the air. Oh, it's still it's still working. Oh, okay. So oh, actually, and it's it's very workable. Uh, didn't didn't it save maybe? Wait. Oh, actually, my my keys are not not really working. I can't wait. Oh, I see. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, somehow my keyboard layout was switched back to German again. Um, so let's try this. Yeah, now I I'm pr pressing left and right keys. Uh, it didn't save properly in the editor. <laughs> um, so yeah, you gotta believe me. Uh, I can't adjust my my direction when airbound. So if I do a jump, oh, now I'm actually <laughs> stuck between those. So the collision, uh, it's ellipsoid collision detection. It, it's pretty robust, but uh, there are instances where um, I can get stuck. For example, like these gaps like this, like are, ah, uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> okay. Um, test player is uh, leaving the level. Oh, and now the Z fighting becomes very obvious. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.